Welcome back, my name is Ronald Precision and this is episode 5 of my Broodwar tutorial series. In this episode I'm gonna talk about visual and sound alerts, their common applications, special interactions and inconsistencies. In Broodwar there are five different types of sound alerts. The first ones are unit acknowledgements which are played when you select units or give orders to them. The second are unit speeches, which are played when the unit spawns, or when the unit finishes building something. The third type is building sounds, which are played when you select a building. The fourth type are general alerts, which are played when an upgrade or research finishes, as well as when your base or units are under attack. And the fifth type is the command sheet alert sound, which is played every time you select an order. Like so. These alerts can have two different behaviors, one is to overlap each other and the other one is to not overlap. Basically, the only alert that overlaps itself is the upgrade or research complete. All the other alerts will not overlap. For example, if I select this Dark Templar, he will talk to me and if I tell him to move before he finishes talking, he will not acknowledge the movement command, yes. like so. In the same way, if I select him, and before he stops talking, I select another Dark Templar, the second Dark Templar will not talk to me, I'm waiting. like so. However, if I select Dark Templar and then a Defiler, because they are different units, they will speak normally. <laughs> Like so. The same logic is applied to every other alert. Together with those, there are two types of visual alerts. The first one is a closing square on the minimap in the location of the alert. Like so. And the second one is that the unit or building that is taking damage, as long as the damage is not little, will blink red. The first application of this is to make army better. In Brood War, each unit has a unique sound that is only played when the unit spawns. For example, the Marine always asks if I want a piece of him, you want a piece of me, boy? like so, and this can be used as a reminder to make more units. Although you should not rely on this in the early to mid game, as the game progresses and in high pressure situations, it is an important technique. Pay attention that if you are making units out of many buildings at the same time, relying on audio to make sure your macro is correct will not work. This is because the building selection sounds as well as the command sheet option sounds do not overlap. The solution to this is to pay attention to your hand movement and in the cases where this is applicable, use visual indications. The same idea can be used to make buildings, however, you should pay attention because the sound doesn't overlap. This means that if two buildings finish at the same time in different locations, only one sound will be played. The solution to this is that every time you hear the SCV sound for finishing a building or the drone sound for finishing morphing into a building, you look at the minimap, since the visual alerts still play. Protoss players unfortunately don't have this technique available, since the only sound that plays when a building finishes can only be heard if your screen is looking at the building or close to it and no visual alert is given. For example, I'm going to build a pylon here, 
And before the building starts, I'm going to switch my screen. And you can see that the game won't give me any indication of the pylon finishing. Like so. Another application is to keep up with your upgrades. In Broodwar, there are two different messages when you get an upgrade. The first one is upgrade complete and the second one is research complete. To understand how they work, basically, if the unit is already able to do something, but you can pay to make it better, it is an upgrade. If the unit is not able to do something, but you can pay to be able to, it is a research. For example, the Dragoon is already able to shoot, but I can pay to make it shoot further, so it is an upgrade. On the other hand, the mind control is only available if I pay, so it is a research. It is important to know the difference, because sometimes you can't go back to your base right away, and by knowing this, you can minimize the time wasted looking for the specific building. This technique is unfortunately not available to Zerg, because every upgrade returns the same message, which is that the evolution is complete. Before I show you the applications of the attack alert, I'm going to explain them in detail. In Broodwar, there are two different alerts for each race. The first one is your base is under attack, which is played whenever a building takes damage. And the second one is your forces are under attack, which is played whenever a unit takes damage. They come together with the visual square closing in on the location and also the unit or building blinking red. Pay attention that if you are looking at the unit or building that's taking damage, you won't receive the sound warning and the square on the minimap will not appear. Although the area behind the heads-up display is not visible to the player, units that are in there are considered envisioned by the game, so you won't be warned if they take damage. For example, I have a zealot around here, and if, it, if he takes damage, I won't receive the warnings. These alerts have two different cooldowns, a short one that's 10.5 seconds and a long one that is 21 seconds. To understand how they work, basically, if the buildings or units that are taking damage are close to each other, the time between warnings is 21 seconds. If the units or buildings are far away from each other, the time is 10.5 seconds. These zealots are at the maximum distance that the game considers to be close. Pay attention that if you have a unit that's moving and taking damage, regardless of how far it moves, the time between warnings is still going to be 21 seconds. The first application of this is to manipulate your opponent's attention. Basically, if you're going to do a drop or attack him somewhere else, it is a good idea to hit one of his units or buildings so that you trigger the warning which will give you 10.5 seconds of freedom in his base. Unfortunately, this is not 100% consistent, as your opponent may be looking at the units when they take damage, and thus the warning is not going to be triggered. For this reason, it is also important that every time you receive the warning, you look at the minimap so that you don't fall to the side. Next, I'm going to show you the 5 cases where units may take damage and still not alert the player. The first one is when units die in one hit. In this case, they just vanish from the minimap with no warning whatsoever. To demonstrate, I'm going to have my opponent's Dark Templar kill these 3 drones while I look away. And if you pay attention to the minimap, they will just disappear. Like so. The most common cases of this happening are when Dark Templars or Reavers attack low HP units like drones, zerglings, probes, or marines. Pay attention, however, that because the Reaver Scarab deals splash damage, if it doesn't kill all the workers, 
or if it hits the buildings, it will trigger the warning. The next case where this happens is when spider mines blow up. For example, my opponent has a spider mine here, and I'm going to tell these units to walk past and move my screen away, and as you can see, I will receive no warning. Like so. The last three cases happen when units receive plague, irradiate, or when shielded units receive EMP. Although unlikely to happen in a real game, alert sounds can glitch and not play when they should. The nature of this is not 100% understood by me, but I ran a few tests and was able to realize that it usually happens when many spells are cast at the same time. Next I'm gonna show you two examples of me reproducing the glitch. The first one I used 12 High Templar to storm a few Marine and Firebats, and the second one I used 3 Arbiter to spam Stasis. I will also show you an example of me trying to reproduce the glitch with auto attack sounds, which failed. Pay attention to the minimap, and you can see that the visual alert still happens. Now I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on why you should turn building sounds off and the reason is because they offer almost no benefit and by turning them off you can pay attention to the other sounds better. This is especially true for Zerg players because the sound that makes when you select a hatchery, lair or hive is very annoying, like so. And also for Terran players, since the sound for selecting command center, the barracks, the factory and the starport are all recycled from the sound that makes when you select something in the command sheet, like so which can be confusing. This is gonna be it for this video. Special thanks to Litabot. If you wanna do your own tests, the tools are in the description below. As usual, thanks for watching, hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.